Good morning. Welcome back. Welcome to Lemon Juice. It's our uh, weekly um, vitamins for our soul. Several years ago, there was a TV program called Early Edition. Did you ever watch it? I only saw it a time or two. But if I remember correctly, the basic storyline centered around a young man who somehow was able to read tomorrow's newspaper today. In other words, he was able to know what was going to happen a day before it actually happened. Now, let me ask you, if you were able to know what was going to happen before it happened, how would you use that knowledge? Would you use it to enrich yourself? If you knew that the stock market was going to go up, would you buy low and sell high and make a lot of money? Would you? Would you use it to help those in need? If you knew that someone was going to be in trouble and need help, would you rush to help them? Or would you become a hero? If you knew someone was in danger and would die, would you be there to prevent that from happening? Would you do? If what would you what what would you do if you knew what was going to happen tomorrow? Some people are obsessed with trying to learn the future. They peer into crystal balls. They read tea leaves. Some look at horoscopes. But the truth of the matter is none of us really knows the future here upon this earth. And Solomon deals with that several times in the book of Ecclesiastes. For example, in Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 7, he wrote, For since no man knows the future, who can tell him? what is to come? Well, there is an answer to his question and the answer is God. In fact, God is the only one who knows the future. As far as we're concerned, our future, our life upon this earth is uncertain. Someone has pointed out that when we write the word life, we're also writing the word if. You can't have life without if. And that simply reminds us of the uncertainty of life itself. So, if life is uncertain and we cannot really know what will happen to us in our life here on earth, how do we face the future then? What can we do about it? Well, God is the answer to that question. In this same book, in the Bible, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a, a future. Verse 12, it says, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. 13, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Actually, the way I prefer to read these verses is that every time I look at these verses, I would like to read it from verse 13 back to 12 and then back to 11. Now let us read it that way. It says in verse 13, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Meaning, if we will seek God wholeheartedly, God will reveal himself to us. And then if God reveals himself to us, in verse 12 it says, then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. 
because God has revealed Himself to us. Every time we pray to God, every time we call on Him, He will listen to us. And then verse 11 follows. Then God says, God knew His plan for us. The Lord declares that His plan for us is for us to prosper and not to harm us. God's plan for us is to give us hope and a future. Is future uncertain? With the Lord. If you find the Lord with wholeheartedly and come to Him in prayer, your life will not be uncertain. And then, He proceeded that He will give us that hope for that future that we are longing for. And with that, let us uh, pray and let's let's give everything to the Lord. Since He knew the future, since He knew the future, let put let's let us put everything in the hands of God, because it is depends whose hands it is. It is. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, truly, at this present time, at this present situation that we are in, most of us are thinking that life is uncertain. Most of us are thinking and fearful about the future. Because of this pandemic, everything was affected. Because of this pandemic, even, even our job the security of our job even our social life even our health was affected and because of that people are asking what will happen tomorrow if today is like this and it seems getting worse help us father to to come before you to seek you with all our hearts so that we may know that you will reveal yourself to us that so that we may know that you will give us a good future you will give us hope because that is your plan for our lives heavenly father help us to put everything into your hands and trust everything into you this is our prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.